What is going in, peeps? What is going in? It's fanaries, naturals, oracles. And do you know what? Today I was sitting here and I was doing one of my favourite spreads. And I was just doing it purely for myself. But this message has come out and I need to give it to you, collective. I think this is a really good message for somebody. It's a slightly different from the messages I normally get. But this is about your person's emotions or somebody that's close to you's emotions that you may be thinking of. Whoever that's popping up in your head, whoever you're thinking of. And so I did this star spread. And the very first card is about the actual current feelings. The second card is about what's influencing those feelings. The third card is about the emotional blockage when it comes to these feelings. The fourth card is about expectations. And the fifth card is about possible outcomes. So we're going to look at this because the very first card that's come out here is the seven of pentacles. It's almost like somebody's just sitting and pondering and waiting for something to happen. What you weep, your soul? Oh, what I want, please, what I want. Somebody just sitting here looking and watching and waiting. It's like, did they sow a seed though? Did they sow a seed? Did they actually sow a seed? But what's happening here? What's the reason why this person now it make more sense to you? Okay, this person sit. It's like this is somebody you don't have communication with or very little communication with because the next card that's coming out is why this person is sitting and waiting. It's because the Queen of Swords is here. This is what's influenced them sitting around waiting, waiting for something to happen. What you reap your soul. It's because the Queen of Swords is here. Now, the Queen of Swords is a karate chop queen. <laughs> she cuts at what don't serve her. So what I'm seeing here is, is that you have a person in the background who you're quite close to. But you might have cut this person out. And this is what's influencing this person just sitting here in the Seven of Pentacles energy. They're sitting and watching and waiting because you've cut this person out. Have you blocked? Have you put up boundaries? And maybe you just have very little communication with this person or none at all. But what we have to look at next is why this person is feeling this way and the emotional blockages. What is the emotional blockages in this situation? And we've got here the creator. Now, if you don't know anything about this deck, this deck is the um, the Wandering Star Tarot, okay? And it comes with two extra cards, the creator and the mother. I think it's the mother something, but this card says no. And the other card is yes. So if you was doing an actual spread and this comes out as no, no is the answer or yes is the answer. But to go deeper, this person's emotional blockage is that they're not pushing this at all. They're not moving forward because there's things they need to cut out. And I'm going to read a part of this card to you because it would make more sense. The creator is you. The creator is you with spirit within you. And it's almost like this person, the emotional blockage here is that they know they need to release certain things in order to move towards you as well. It's almost like spirit is holding this person back from you as well. And I'm going to read a little bit of it to, to explain it further. So when you get this card, it says... This card is also here to remind you of the power of the word no. No to things that overwhelm or undermine. No to the people who drain your life force. No to thoughts that drag you into despair. You are mightier than you think and a glimmer of faith paired with solid intention can give you the power to harness light, lightning. Each day you have the choice to be the victim of fear and circumstances or the creator of a new consciousness. Choose wisely. Do you understand where I'm coming from now? This person is holding themselves back as well. It's not only that you've cut them out, but they can get hold of you at any time they want to. It's just other things in the background that is emotionally blocking this person. And it's like they don't have the power to say no. There's things that they need to say no to. Okay, if that's making sense to you, people. I want that one piece, what I want me. I get serious today because this is a different type of spread. There's somebody, just to catch up so far, there's somebody in your background or somebody close to who you're thinking of who you might have cut out or you've put barriers up with. But because you've seen certain things that's going on with this person and 
one of them could be that they just don't know how to say no to people and it would just hinder this relationship if they was to bring this forward they need to really the ocean this is this is the emotional blockage they don't know how to say no and 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 actually think about their own life their own presence their own purpose this is what it is so the expectations, the next card, which is card number four in position four, is the expectations. And we've got the two of pentacles. The expectation here is somebody needs to find balance. Or the expectation here is, you know, this could mean a few things. This could mean juggling. This is decisions. They've got to make decisions. They've got to stop juggling. They've got to, they've got to become balanced with the situation. And the expectation is they're balancing it out themselves. This is deep, people. This is deep. <laughs> but, yes, there's certain things we need to actually clarify here. But anyway, so that was the expectation, the two pentacles. Are they juggling and trying to find balance within themselves? Or is there decisions that the expectation is, is that they need to make the decision to move towards you or not? It's like they're sitting in, again, I'm getting that message of of, of um, limbo, of somebody just sitting and watching and waiting for a situation to change. It's like the emotional blockage. They don't know how to say no and move towards what they want. You have to go within and think about it. Find the balance. That's what it is here. So the final card, which card number five is the Eight of Wands, communication. Is that the final outcome? That they're finally going to communicate how they feel about you, how they want to be with you, how they're going to stop being stagnant and explain to you about what the hell is going on. This is about forward movement. This is about communication. So do you know what I'm going to do, people? Because I wasn't expected to do this and I thought I'd give it to you guys, but I'm going to move it to... Uh, I originally thought I'm going to do a TikTok video. OK, so I thought originally I'd do this on TikTok, but I think it needs further explanation. I'm going to take it further. So if you want a further clarification, because I'm going to clarify some of these cards with a new deck, but I'm going to clarify some of these. When I say a new deck, I mean another deck. <laughs> I'm going to clarify some of these cards. So if you really want to join me and um, go into my description and click the link for YouTube and you'll find a video there, OK? So, until next time, TikTok, take care. And I'm going to pause this for a minute and then I'm going to go back because I'm going to put the whole lot on, on YouTube, but I need to pause it for a minute to get another deck and to shuffle and everything else. So, I'll be back, peeps. I'll be back. <laughs> What I want, peace, what I want. Okay, so I gave you a quick pause because the first part of this I actually put on TikTok, but I'm not going to take it any further because, as we know, TikTok don't do the longer videos. I think they've moved it to nine minutes now, though. You can do up to nine minutes, but because of the way that TikTok set up, the attention span there doesn't go to nine minutes, and you find that people don't watch the nine, whole nine minutes. Do you know what I mean? It could be exciting as anything, but, do you know, as long as it's not one minute, or th the most I've got out of, the, of them is three minutes. Because of that, I thought, let me just move it to YouTube and take it further, because we've already gone... We've gone about eight minutes already without even realising it, or is it longer? Anyway, what we want to do is clarify these cards now, because like I said, the emotional, the, the the actual feelings at the moment is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles speaks, speaks about sitting and watching and waiting. It's like they're waiting for you to open the door for them, because what's influencing them sitting there waiting is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords talks about cutting out what don't serve you. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> But like you just, it's like they're waiting for someone to actually unblock them, take away the, the, you know, because this person, whoever it is, what's influencing them sitting there waiting is you karate chop, you give them the one, two. This is you, collective. This is you giving them a one chop or at least putting up your barriers. That's what I'm getting, people. So we need to clarify, first of all, why is this person sitting and waiting? Why are they not doing something? So... Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, and assistance. Please give us the message for the collective. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Thank you, Spirit. And I'm using the, the Tower of Dreams. And they've got extra cards in there, like the whole palaces. 
for each suit. So it, it gets interesting sometimes. But the first card I'm going to clarify is the Seven of Pentacles. Why are they sitting there waiting and watching? Sitting and watching. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. They're stressed about... I'm, I'm just looking at the bottom of the desk, but what I'm getting is they're stressed about this... They want to have this new beginning. They're stressed about this new beginning. The other message I'm getting about this is, is there's somebody who might be a secret admirer. And you have no idea this is going on in the background. Okay. But they see you as this upright, honest person, but to the point. But you don't mess about when you're cutting to the quick. You're cutting to the quick. So this could apply to a new situation as well as a, a somebody who wants to reconcile with you. You could look at it both ways. But it's like this person's got obstacles obstacles to get into you and like for the moment they're just sitting and watching it's like they're in stagnancy it's like they're in this thing so why is the seven of pentacles here spirit do you know is it could even be that they're waiting sitting and waiting for their actual investments to come in what investments have they got see look is it that they need to heal something with you they want to heal something with you i don't know but let's have a look we've got strength these are all very cards of somebody up in their head, isn't it? They realised who you are. This is the um, Ten of Cups, if you didn't know. That's the Ten of Cups, okay? When we get one more card. See? The Ace of Pentacles, what we saw at the bottom of the deck. So let's, let's just have a look at this, shall we? So the Seven of Pentacles is about somebody sitting and watching and waiting. Do they want to heal this situation with you? They see you as a strong person, but at the same time, they want to heal this situation and strengthen something with you. Or is it that they see you as a strong person or they're trying to have strength to actually heal this situation because they know what their happiness is, their happiness is. And they want to they want to actually start and give a stable beginning. But guess what? <laughs> the Queen of Pent the Queen of um, Swords is here. She cuts out what don't serve her. So this is why this person is sitting and waiting and watching. They're trying to have strength in this situation. Or they see you as a strong person. They want to heal this situation with you because they see you as their happiness. So they want to come they want to come they want to start again. Is either somebody wants to start again or somebody wants to give you this new stable beginning. You could look at it, this this could be a secret admirer, it could be somebody in the background, and you're totally unaware of what's going on with this person. This is what I'm getting. That's an interesting start. So we know why this person is sitting and watching. But people, why are you in your Queen of Swords energy? I mean, this this is a collective read, so it's not going to actually. But is it because this person was previewed a player from the Himalayas? That's what's at the bottom of this deck. I want that one piece. What that one on a big up on herself because this is going to get deep. Why is the Queen of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Remember, this is what's influencing their feelings, and the feeling is the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody sitting, watching, and waiting. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. What is the message here in reference to the Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is, why is the Queen of Swords in this? Because of conflict. Because this person stressed you out. That's what's at the bottom when I'm splitting the deck. What's going on, people? What's going on? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you. I mean, again, this is a slightly different story to what I usually get. But look, did you find this person? Do you know what I mean? They... Did you find this person, like, did they betray you in some way, shape or form? Is that what it is? Did they betray you? Yeah, look. And did this person make you feel trapped in the past? I don't know. But what I'm getting here is, yeah, this is going to be deep what I've got to say now. Okay, and I don't know whether it's because I did a personal reading today and I don't know whether that's coming out here and it's kind of like, but I, when I do personal readings, I always delete the pictures or whatever afterwards because I read energy through pictures, okay? And like, I've just not, not too long done a personal reading and I hope this is not why this is coming out, but I usually delete them and clear the energy and, and thank spirit for that to, to release it. But what I've got here is you, the reason why you cut this person to the quip Okay, it's because they had some kind of betrayal. There was some kind of betrayal here. And this person had you trapped. It's almost like you had, were trapped in a situation. You felt trapped at one point. And this is why you cut out this person. And the thing is, 
when I see the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is my flirt. Somebody who could talk a good game. Somebody who's got the gift of the gab. Somebody who could talk you into anything. And maybe that's what happened in the past. And this is why you've had to cut this person out completely. Because in the past, this person was the type of person that could look like one persona, but is actually very two-faced. Or you've got the here and now person, but there was something different tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? It's like this person had you because it's not only about devil energy and it can be. It's about this person having this persona. But to me, it's more about the trapation, the jugulation, the betrayal. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And now this person is coming off with this. And so you had to cut this out. Oh, what I want, please, what I want. Now, I'm not going to explain this one again, because if you saw this from the beginning, I actually read the text from the book it comes with. And this is about the person's emotional blockage. I don't think I need to clarify that because I actually read the text that goes with this. And it's saying basically this person's emotional blockage is that they don't know how to say no to certain things. And this is what's preventing them to come forward to you. They don't know how to say no, you know, for their own good. Do you know, they know where their happiness lies and they're just not looking at this. So I'm not going to clarify this one because we already went down that road. OK, but what we've got is expectation and the two of pentacles. Is it choices? Is it a balanced situation or is it them juggling? What is the expectation here? So we're going to flick some cards on that because that one is a is a weird one, too. So. Holy Spirit, holy angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance and the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands, the end of burden. Expectations. What is the expectations here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. What messages do you have in reference to the Two of Pentacles? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, beloved, please give us the message for the collective. Please tell us what the Two of Pentacles is all about in this expectation. What is the expectation with the Two of Pentacles? Is it choices? Is it balance? Is it juggling? What is it, Spirit? Yeah, feeling left out in the cold. The expectation is, is that, <laughs> let's get another card out. That's serious. Look, and this is the Five of Cups. This is two cards of regret, of loss. Okay, I know what it is. And then they've got the Five of Swords. Okay. Do you know what it is with this person, the expectation? The, two, the reason why the juggling is here and not the World card OK, this person feels like if they move towards you right now, the expectation is, is that they're going to lose what they've got already because they don't know how to say no. They don't know how to feel the fear because the creator card is about feeling the fear. They don't know how to feel the fear and do it anyway. They don't know how to feel the fear. This one is about um, this is the hidden blockage. They're feeling fear about something. This card is about saying no to certain things. There's certain things they need to release before they can come forward to you. Okay. And they feel like, they, they, I don't know if it's imbalance because what I'm getting here is this person feels left out in the cold. Is it by you or is it by their circumstances? Because this person doesn't know how to say no. But at the same time, they've got, they're certainly in regret of feeling a lost opportunity. But at the same time, I'm getting, because that's like, that's just three fives here. Change. Oh, my goodness. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is, this is like, no, it's not. It's two. That's a five. One, two, three, four. No, that's four. And then we've got the four. Sorry, people. Sorry. That's the regret. Okay. Is it that they feel rejected, that they're going to feel rejected? Or, or what is it? And then we've got, is it that they need to put, see, that's the message now. This person needs to release certain things to be able to put down the burdens, okay? They need to reject certain things, reject certain things and actually release. It's like putting something to rest, you know? But they're feeling left out in the cold. They feel like, this is about imbalance. This is about imbalance, people. This person... They're feeling like left out in the cold, like they feel like they're going to lose out if they reject what they're doing right now. But they know they need to put this down. They know they need to put whatever it is down and to stop this juggling. They need to release certain things to find the balance. That's what it is. Spirit come true, spirit come true. So we got the very last card. Okay, now is this about moving forward? This is about communication. 
Because remember, all of this is about their higher self, their emotions, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. So let's find out, shall we? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. Thank you. Please give me the message. What messages do you have for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. Please give me the message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. What messages do you have for the collective? Please give me the message. Thank you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection protection assistance please give me the message why is the eight of wands here what is it is it two forward movement holy spirit holy angels beloved thank you for your guidance protection assistance please give me the message what is this about the communication thank you please give me the message what is this about the communication holy spirit what can, what do they want to communicate what this is the possible outcome people judgment okay that's not going to explain anything by itself. The Queen of Coins. They want to communicate to you because they want to make a decisive decision. Go to Cornwall Waters with you. They want to communicate. But they feel judged by you. Is that what it is? King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Here's what we got here. So this is the final outcome. They want to communicate. It's nothing to do with move forward movement. They want to communicate with you because remember, you're the queen of swords who's cut them out, who's cut out what don't serve you. But you had good reason to do that. Did you feel trapped? Did you feel betrayed? Did you feel like this person just talked a good game? But in actual fact, there was nothing going down there. And this is why you had to cut them out. And now this person wants to communicate with you. What do they want to communicate to you, though? They understand the higher purpose and the higher understanding. Have they, have, is this spirit judging this situation or is it you? Because what we've got here is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's a hierarchy, you know, who's a matriarch, not hierarchy, who's a matriarch. Somebody who is, you know, stable, reliable, who's abundant. Or And it doesn't have to be about money. It could be just spiritually or emotionally or whatever, just balanced this person is you know and they just want to go to karma waters with you and this is what this is all about they want to go to karma waters with you interesting they give off this persona of being the king of wands do you know what i mean but they see you as this loving caring person who's highly intuitive okay you're this loving caring person that's highly intuitive and there's the match. But do they talk a good game and they pretend that they don't have emotions for you? And they do, in fact. And they're actually quite burdened by this because they know this is the love situation. You can't make this up. And look, they want to communicate about this because, again, look, this is a communication here. But is there other people getting involved in this situation? And this is why this person's in the future they're going to be the two ones. The two the two ones is a decision, a path they need to take. Which path are they going to take? Because I'm getting these people might have other people in the background that's hindering them. And this is why the creator card is here. They need to say no to certain things. They need to release certain things. Feel the fear and do it anyway, because it'd be nothing but prosperity. So my goodness, people, what a one piece, what a one. There's somebody that's in your background, somebody who, you know, it might be somebody you might want to reconcile with or somebody that is in your background. It could be a secret admirer. It could be something like that. But there's definitely somebody in the background who is like upset. They're upset that you've cut them out, but you had good reason to. But spirit is saying to this person that you've got to stop what you're doing and release certain things. And it could even be people that they're dealing with in the background. Do you know what I mean? Because the expectation here is is um, they need to reject certain things and put it to rest. Because until they do that, they're going to feel left out in the cold. They're going to feel this lack. They're going to have this lack mindset, like something is missing. Something is missing in their life and they can't understand what it is. And when they clap eyes on you, they feel what it is, what the difference is, why they're feeling that way. They've got this lack mindset. 
and they know that the expectation is they feel like they're juggling a lot but they know they need to re they need to reject certain things and release because they're going to keep feeling this emptiness this lack mindset they're going to keep feeling that and there's a match here anyway i'm going to leave it here people because that was a lot for cards that i thought i was just gonna um just fix the cards and see what comes out but i'm getting a slightly different story here today somebody's sitting and watching yeah i get that you get the watch you but i think it's in a different way it's somebody who could be a secret admirer it's somebody who you might have cut out of your life who in actual fact could be a divine counterpart even but they've got so much going on in the background and there's a lot of things that they need to release before they can come to you but they certainly want to communicate and go to calmer waters in the meantime because in the future it looks like this is a love situation this is something that is really going to happen but in order to get to that place they've got to communicate how they feel this is somebody who needs to communicate how they feel about you for you to see them in, in a different perspective perspective because i'm getting that that didn't happen before that just didn't happen before so i'm gonna leave it there people i'm gonna leave it there and i'm wondering <laughs> no i'm not gonna go there i'm gonna leave it there because i could extend this to go even deeper but i'm not going to so if you are if you're on youtube watching this please subscribe hit the alert bell so you know when i'm going to do another video because you can see they get very deep and you could just imagine what happens on patreon when i do this as well because i take i actually clarify the clarifiers and i take it deeper and i add things to it and i do more to it because this story is slightly different from the ones that i normally give so anyway take care till next time people and don't forget to subscribe hit the alert bell Come with me, peeps. The more energy I have around me, the more I'm going to pick up. So until next time, take care, people. Take care. <laughs>